guys, we are in Highland Park. It is community day and it has already started. I know I'm a little late to start, but I already spun my stop and I also did my streak for catching and I got over 13,000 stardust. My first catch was a Dratini. Also, I hatched an egg. And it was a pretty exciting egg. I'll put it like somewhere over here. So yeah, so we're just walking around. There's plenty of Dratini. Have yet to find a shiny Dratini yet, but there's a whole bunch of gems here and raids. So hopefully we'll be able to do one. So yeah, guys, check back with you guys later. Oh my God, guys, I just got a shiny Dratini. I'm gonna use a Golden Raz. Catch this pink Pokemon. So exciting. And we got it, guys. So this is very exciting. I finally got one. Let's hope I can get two more because, you know, I, I want a shiny Dragonair and Dragonite. So hopefully I can get one. Guys, I got my second shiny. It's only 10 CP, but, you know, it's still good. So, uh, yeah, gonna catch it. Catch it. Use a Golden Raz because I'm not fooling around. And an Ultra Ball. I'm running low on Ultra Balls, but that's okay. I might buy a box. And I caught it. Woo! Second shiny down. Okay guys, so the community event is long over. I you probably barely see me, but as you can see, I caught six shiny Dratini. Unfortunately, none of them would, were good IV. The highest IV one I have is 60%. And we are going to shiny check this magic card. We had a pit stop and it's not shiny, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna stop screen record and just, you know, show you guys this beautiful fall. It is roaring like crazy. I don't know if you, how well you can hear me, but it is gorgeous. So it's all lit up, so it looks really good. So I'm going to slowly turn the camera and show you guys. huge waterfall. Last time I came here, it was completely frozen, maybe a little drizzle, but now there is little uh, water coming up and, you know, it's just huge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really love this waterfall. I will be showing you guys my evolution, the full evolution of shiny Tatini to Dragonair and then finally Dragonite. So hope you guys enjoy this. I'll catch you back home. Hey YouTube, so I am back from the event. I caught a total of six shiny Dratinis. We are going to evolve one. I, we also found a 98% Dratini and I immediately evolved that. So that's a over 3000 CP Dragonite with Draco Meteor, and we also found a 93%, which was awesome, but the highest IV, I believe, for the Shiny Dratini is this 175. Um, unfortunately, it's only about 60%, but, you know, it's still good. So, um, let's see the appraisal. It was only above average. Um, yeah, it's about 60%. So we are going to evolve it. I am almost to my... Dragon Tamer Gold Badge, so I can't wait for that. Um, I'm at 191 out of 200, so this will count towards the badge. There's Shiny Dragonair, which is very pretty. And we are finally going to go to Dragonite. We are also going to evolve one of our other pink Dratini, so we have a Shiny Dragonair. So we'll have a Shiny Dratini, Shiny Dragonair, and Shiny Dragonite. And here is Shiny Dragonite. It's so green. Oh my goodness. And let's see. CP is 768, so we are going to power it up until it hits 1,000. 
Hopefully I have enough stardust. I got a lot of stardust during the event. I got about 80,000. So that's pretty good. I need to power up one more time. Nope, one more time. I think and we don't have enough stardust, unfortunately. But we will get to the next dragon or Dratini. So we can evolve it to Dragon Air. So I think. Uh, let me see. Is this one above average? Gotta find the above average one. That would be this one. Okay, we are just going to evolve this to Dragon Air. So we have a shiny Dratini, shiny Dragon Air, and shiny Dragonite. So the event was really, really fun, guys. There were so many people in the park. Um, I got my Silk Road badge, which was awesome. Got the handshake with a few people. So that's awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was it was awesome. I walked about two miles that day. Um, you know, pretty extensive walking. I got several 10Ks. I got some eggs, you know, from an area where I am not local, two hours away. It was worth it. Um, hopefully next time we will get an unknown, because an unknown is known to spawn in that area. Sometimes, not always. But unfortunately we missed one because no one knew about the unknown because people were busy with the event. So about after an hour and a half, an unknown popped and we had no idea, but that's okay. Maybe next time. I just really would love an unknown because I don't have one yet and I can't wait to get one. Plus I unlock the badge once I catch one. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see what the next Pokemon will be for the community day. I wonder if they're going to do candy next, like double candy next. Since they did XP and Stardust already. So I can't wait for that. I'll probably be going to the same place I did um, in last the last Community Day event. So, yeah. I can't wait. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.